What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with some player of the weeks. I'm in the onesie, lads. It's early, it's cold, but we are going to get this video out to you guys. So let me know your thoughts about the player of the weeks as well, because we are going to be heading straight over here to the worldwide January 25th player of the weeks. Now, a lot of people have asked me about these player of the weeks. Are they good? Are they worth spinning for? Honestly, lads, I think they're trying to go in the right direction with the boosters in terms of, you know, Gabriel and Torres having boosters. Uh, but I just feel like that they're kind of like base entry level players. I mean, these players are pretty much going to be like if you train up a player that's a winger, right? And you decide that you want to have him pacey or you want to have speed or you want to have cut in and finishing. You can do that from the GP marketplace. There's no real point in parting with your coins if you're saving up for the match pass, if you're saving up for, you know, a really good legend spin and being able to kind of like max out and get some of the best end game players. Um, but yeah, I mean, Ferran Torres obviously is a good player. I mean, he's got everything that you could possibly want as a Roman flank left winger he cuts in he's got he's able to shoot he doesn't have any stats in the 90s apart from ball control and dribbling and of course that acceleration balance is a little bit of a disappointment and I think honestly with the way the gameplay is I think they've changed the passing slightly that you will need to upgrade the passing a little bit now he does have strikers instinct plus three and of course he has double touch and he has soul control but he doesn't have flip flap and you can't train you can't give any skills you can't do anything with these players they are exactly what they are i mean they are the finished product when they get to your squad so there's no real stamp of you of what you want to do onto the card that you can do so the rest of these cards as i said uh, in the live stream if you haven't checked that out Okafor is a very very solid player as a whole player he's got nice uh, acceleration nice finishing nice low pass ball control is good tight possession and physical our balance is very very low but he actually has a very unique card with physical contact there as well he's on standard form but he does have some fairly nice stats including pretty decent player skills as well i've said it for, i've said it once i'll say it again they've really started to balance the cards they're releasing now i think they went a bit crazy at the start but you can see here that okafor is going to have flip flap and soul control but he doesn't have double touch he also has super sub he has acrobatic finishing but he doesn't have first time shots so there's a lot of stuff that they're doing now to the cards you know he doesn't even have one touch pass as an attacking midfielder which is a big no-no for me uh he's just a pacey kind of you know running gun attacking midfielder not the worst option at all you've danny carvajal as a right back i think apart from his stamina just not good enough at this stage in the game now listen you know cue people in the comments saying like oh you know you only recommend these type players you only recommend this I mean, genuinely, lads, you can use any player in the game. Once they're over, like, 85 overall, you can pretty much use any player that you want in this game and get results. But I honestly do feel that there's, like, you know, there's a level, like, kind of where you're at the playing field where you're able to compete. And then there's players that just actually, like, you know, are just that much better in the game. Like, wan versus Danny Carvajal, there is literally no comparison whatsoever. Even the GP version or the club pack version. Wendell is the same. He's just pure pace. Doesn't really have anything else going for him. The tight possession and the balance are quite low for an attack and full back. Can only play left back and he's in consistent form. He's got some okay player skill. Double touch, soul control, but he doesn't have flip flap. He also has pinpoint crossing, but he doesn't have interception or any defensive stats. So again, he's just an average left back, lads. Yes, you can make him work within your squad, but there's other players there if you're not wanting to part with your coins. Zorkowski is another attacking midfielder here. He's slow. He doesn't suit the gameplay. He has got a striker's instinct plus three. So with that boost, he's still slow 72 balance 82 type possession it's not all about speed but this guy doesn't even have one touch pass as a creative playmaker attacking midfielder yeah so it's a no for me mendez is the same as a whole player just too slow too clumsy doesn't have one touch pass very very strange card even though he's got unwavering form just not a very solid card low pass goes to nearly the 90s speed acceleration balance is so low look at his balance man it's terrible so if you're going to be taking on one-on-one -on -one runs now, the balance is going to come into it. And I have a video coming on that very soon. We have our traditional goalkeeper that's just pretty much going to be, you know, not even worth spinning for Um, if you do get him. He doesn't have low punt. Uh, 89 awareness and 92 reflexes is pretty decent. That's going to go over the 90 mark. Uh, and he's fairly tall, so you don't need to worry too much about reach. And every goalie will let in every um, chance that's going to go in anyway. If you're going to concede a goal, you're going to concede. It doesn't matter if you've got you know, five goalies in goal, it doesn't matter, the go the game has certain kind of like animations that don't trigger for when goalies just miss a shot, 
or you just have a better shot, you you know, a better goal scoring opportunity. Uh, I think one of the picks of them, lads, is actually this guy here, uh, Akturkoglu, if that's how you pronounce his name. I apologize for the butchering again. Uh, but this guy's got fairly decent stats. Double touch, soul control, first time shot, one touch pass. He doesn't have flip flap and you can't give it to him, so he can't get ball roll. But he does have that one touch pass and he also has first time shot with track back and acrobatic finishing. Dribbling is good. Uh, balance is solid. Speed, acceleration, finishing is a very nice card if you want to play him left mid. And I also think the pick of him is probably Jota. Now, we got him in our main account. Very good acceleration. 85 balance with the manager boost. 85 tight possession. 87 finishing with the manager boost. Deep line forward. Nice to play with. He has double touch, flip flap, and soul control. And he's got track back with one touch pass. Very, very, very solid card. The only thing missing from him is unwavering form. And that's not even a big priority anymore with the way the game is. Uh, and that no player is ever usually down. Although they have changed that a little bit. We also have Arsenal's Gabriel. He gets another booster here. He actually gets dueling plus three when he's on A rating. A lot of these cards will be good when they're on A rating, but if they're on C rating, such as De Bruyne this week, last week De Bruyne was a monster. This week, he's not going to get any boost with this max booster at all, apart from plus one. So that's going to be a bit of a pity. Um, you also have the speed at 76. I would like the speed to be 80 now with the current gameplay. Defensively, he's very solid. He obviously is a bit of a beast. He's a good height. He's got blocker, interception, area superiority, but he doesn't have acrobatic clearance, which is a bit of a bust as well. And then, of course, we have Lahavich, who's been scoring for a Juve for fun. Physical contact, finishing, very, very solid. But the balance, again, lads, in that inconsistent form is a big no-no for me. And the rest of his player skills leave a lot to be desired. It's just a weird card for a fox in the box. When you take a look at what's coming down the line, and obviously I know people will want to get the free players, and you could spin for Vlahovic with the free game in the events. You can do one game in the events, and you can spin for Vlahovic, and you can get him. But to be honest with you, I just don't feel that he, you know, sits into this kind of current gameplay. And then as we already know, said with Ferran Torres, he gets the striker's in instinct plus boost, um, which is a plus three. Very okay card, but the balance and the, the rest of the stats there are just leaving a lot to be desired for a 96 overall card. It's just, yeah, it's just a weird selection. I think they've made the right decision by going with the boosters. That's something that I was saying is that, to, you know, put two or three players in here that are must-haves. But I would like to see him go one step further. And I would like to see that if you get the player of the weeks, maybe you're able to choose, you know, three skills to give him. Or they come with a different type of ability, um, such as like the Blitz Curler or something like that. Like we spun over four accounts to get De Bruyne last week. We didn't get him. I have no interest in really spinning for these. Obviously, if I do spin from it, it'll probably be on my free-to-play team. If I'm playing on my free-to-play team here... You do have Ferran Torres, you probably have Jota coming on as a super sub, and Gabriel, and Okafor that can all slot into your squad, or into my squad fairly decently, but there's just so many players going to be coming, lads, over the next couple of weeks, and when you compare them to these guys, even the likes of Mendieta, who's 97 overall, and Ferran Torres, who's 96 overall, it just, it just makes no sense to have these players in your squad, unless you want to try them out, have a bit of crack, um, or just test out your favorite players, so yeah, for me, that's my decision on it. I'm probably not going to spin for the player of the week. But let me know what you guys think. I will be back very, 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 very soon. We'll be live streaming again. Hopefully, it's a bit warmer in the room. But until then, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know who you got in your player of the week. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.